Hi, this is Ivy from Gypsy Road, and today we're going to be talking about the Berean Builders series that's written by Jay Weil. Uh, when he left Apologia, he went over to Berean Builders and started um, writing science books over there. And they're history-based, and you guys know that my kids just love history. So we decided to try these out, and we really, really enjoyed them. Um, there's one that comes first that we didn't get called Science in the Beginning, and I was already halfway through the series before I realized that that was there, so we just didn't go back and pick it up. And there's Science in the Ancient World, Science in the Scientific Revolution, Science in the Age of Reason, and Science in the Industrial Age. Um, and just to show you how these books work, I'm going to focus on Science in the Ancient World. When you open them up, it will tell you all of the materials that you're going to need for each of these lessons. You can get them ahead of time. Make sure that you've got everything that you need. I really like that that's right up front so that you know what you're going to need. The table of contents breaks it down and it's done in chronological order. So we're starting here with when science began. That starts up in ancient Egypt. And this book goes all the way to the early Renaissance with Da Vinci. Just as a sample lesson, I picked lesson 38, which is about Galen the physician. Um, so it has the history of Galen, it talks all about Galen, it talks about what he learned with anatomy, and then um, every single lesson has a blue section here. And that is where you're going to do your own experiment at home. And they're easy experiments that involve materials that you're going to have on hand at home already. At the end of the lesson, there's some lesson review questions. They've got them for the youngest students, which are going to be your kindergarten through second grade, your older students. Um, your third, three, or fifth graders, and your oldest students, which is going to be sixth grade and up. These are supposed to be um, kindergarten through sixth grade books, but I have tailored them up for my older student so that we can all do science together. Each book also has a helpful hints um, book that goes along with it. And for lesson 38, the helpful hints includes the answers to the activity sheet that I'm going to show you, which is part of the um, lab that came with this lesson. It's got experiment hints, um, and it's got the answers to all of the review questions that were in that book. The helpful hints also comes with test. There are tests, and then further back are the test answers. You can copy these tests and hand them out to your student to complete, like you would at regular school. Um, or you can just do them out loud. We generally do our tests out loud together. It gives me a, a chance to see what they've learned, and it gives the kids a chance to learn from each other. And then in the back of the helpful hints are pages that can be copied and handed out to the students to complete together. My book is closing on me. So this one has the human body. Um, it's got more body parts. It's got a graphing activity and then another body activity. Each of them is different. Um, your scientific revolution has a lot more on space, and then when we get down here to the industrial age, there's a lot more on like electricity and chemistry. Um, the first two books, Science in the Ancient World and Science in the Scientific Revolution, have lab manuals that you can get online to go with them. Um, and these uh, come in level one and level two. I used level two for my older students. And so when we got to lesson 38, which was Galen, it has an activity where they're going to label all the body parts. And it also has questions and answers. Why did Galen's dissection of apes, I cannot get this thing to open, uh, what, did, what did it help him learn about human anatomy when he dissected apes? Because one of the things we learned in the book was that it was illegal to do human dissection um, during Galen's time, so he was unable to do that, and he dissected apes instead. Um, so there are a lot of question and answers through this book. Kind of flip through it and see. Um, labeling. It's just a way for them to review what they've learned in that lesson. Um, finally, if you've paid any attention to our YouTube playlist, you'll notice that um, we have playlists for every single lesson for all four of these books here. So if you are using Berean Builders, make sure that you subscribe to the um, Gypsy Road playlist and channel so that you can access these very easily. 
Um, we have anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes worth of videos to accompany every single lesson, and those really help the kids to um, reinforce in an audio-visual kind of way what they've learned. So, if you've not tried Berean Builders before, and you're looking for a Christian-centric science, but it does not follow the young earth theory, it does follow the old earth theory, um, then this might be a good way for you to go.